It's your boy Marty, the producer, back with another episode. I had to take this out. Forgot I had it in. But um, I come to you today with a product that uh, just arrived less than 20 minutes ago. Uh, it's not a sponsored video. And uh, I'm coming to share some information with you. But let me show you what they are first. The company is called Freshly. Now, normally I would plan to unbox this and unveil this in my kitchen. However, Sean is doing a learning session in there and didn't really want to disturb him. He's in there, which is, you know, right next door. It's not too far away. But um, a couple of videos ago, we did a review on HelloFresh. Well, this is a different company called Freshly, and it is all natural ingredients. They cook the food for you. So unlike... Hello Fresh, where you have you get the ingredients and you prepare the food. This company makes the food for you, um, vacuum seals it, sends it over to you. Uh, it comes to you. You can order as many in a week as you want. We have the twelve pack, where you order twelve every single week. These are fully prepared meals with the main dish and a side. Uh, I believe you warm it in the microwave. Um, depending on the type of water that you have, up to three hour, uh, three minutes, <laughs> up to three minutes in the microwave, and your food is ready to go on a plate and be prepared. And they have things like steak and, and, and teriyaki chicken and grilled chicken and all kind of things like that. So I'm gonna open this up and show you guys what we got. All right, so here's some of the ones we got. Um, we got four of one time, the Peppercorn steak, I heard that was real good. So we got four of those. And we got two of the Swedish meatballs and two of the teriyaki chicken. Um, it's mainly going to be for Keisha and I, but we're considering letting the kids try to see what they like. Then we'll know what we can reorder. So it comes in this sealed container. And this is kind of cold. And this is real cold. It's like a block of ice and these items are recyclable and they'll tell you how to do that but here are the meals so they come in these little items like this they're sealed here's the steak mashed potatoes and I believe that's uh, let's see I believe that's either green beans or asparagus um, so stay tuned on this video. We're going to tell you what we like. Um, this is all affordable. These 12 came um, and it was under $100. So what we can do is in the description, we'll leave a link where you can get $40 off your first order. No matter how many you order, um, we're going to give you, they're going to give you $40 off. Let me get these in the refrigerator. And then when we try some probably tonight and tomorrow, We'll review with you to let you know how good it was. All right, so today I'm having the homestyle chicken with butternut mac. All right, the chicken's underneath there, but that looks good. Okay. I'm having this one. We got to get the thing. Swedish meatballs. All right, Keisha got the Swedish meatballs with what comes with it? Peas and carrots. Peas and carrots. All right. So the cool thing tomorrow, uh, and on the back of each one, so on the back it has a direct instructions on how you're supposed to warm it and prepare it. And then they suggest that you plate it. So I'm excited. Now, yesterday we had the steak. I don't know if I told you guys, but it was great. Amazing. And... It was so great to the point that we don't mind having all of ours be steak, but I think that would be very crazy to have 12 days or 12 meals of steak. But the kids didn't really care for it too much, which is fine. It can just be, just be for us adults. But these are all meals that are low in calories and filling. They taste really, really good, like they're just freshly made. So I think that's why the company is called Freshly. Um, so I'm going to enjoy this and let y'all know how this tastes. All right, let me highlight y'all for a second. Over the past week or so, 
I've been having some tooth pain on on this side, right in this area. Um, I've been doing different things or trying different home remedies to see if I can alleviate it. And it got to a point where nothing was working. Nothing was giving me any relief. So uh, I finally decided to go into the dentist and see what in the world is wrong. Um, and that visit was a couple days ago. And, and um, mind you, my, my past, I've had no cavities. Uh, I've had braces before. I've had um, extractions, but really no cavities or anything major uh, wrong with my teeth. So I go there and they say I need a root canal. And I ain't gonna lie, your boy is petrified. Uh, something about dentists. Um, this, I think I read where 80% of Americans are scared to go to the dentist. Well, I guess I'm in that 80% because I do not look forward to this procedure um, that is going to happen in less than 48 hours. So I'm taking you guys with me. Um, I thought they would give me some laughing gas when the procedure happens, but they say their location doesn't do that. Um, so no laughing gas. They just numb the area and then they inject the area to make sure it's numb and then they check with you to make sure you don't feel anything and then throughout the procedure they'll check with you um to make sure you don't feel anything a lot of people say it's not that bad um they're in and out so i'm praying that it's just not that bad and like i said beforehand right now i'm not in any pain uh they gave me some antibiotics and pain pills um, to last between now and the date I have to go in because the date I initially went in uh, they didn't have enough time to do it um, so uh, yeah I've been managing the pain it doesn't really hurt right now I'm um, usually at night it hurts more uh, but again it's manageable so like I said, a lot of people are telling me um, you're in and you're out. You're ready to go within 12 hours after the surgery. So I want to give you guys a heads up. So if you saw the next couple of clips of me going to the dentist, you'll know what's going on. So that's my update. So y'all take this journey with me. First time ever getting an invasive procedure other than extraction, which went easily. Um... I have to now get a root canal. All right, people, today is the day. I am going to get this root canal. And I'm gonna be real with you, your boy's terrified. I'm sitting in front of the office now. I think they're open. Um, my appointment's in 15 minutes, so I'm assuming they're open. So uh, this is before. I don't have a lot of pain right now. I'm actually, uh, I actually feel no pain. So hopefully this goes well. Everybody's giving me encouraging words, so hopefully it will. So go in here and get this taken care of and I'll see you guys when this is all over. All right, so you're probably wondering um, how I'm still able to talk and I'm actually wearing a different shirt because it's a different day. Let me tell you, the last clip you saw was me supposedly getting a root canal I uh, went in, I actually paid for the procedure. You had to pay before you start the procedure. But they had to reschedule me because my blood pressure was too high. So I needed a waiver by my doctor and I already had an appointment to my doctor scheduled. So um, in two days from now, I'll be going to get it done again. Tomorrow I actually go see my doctor. But right now, I'm getting on to let you guys know I'm heading to uh, a gun class um, in order to get your uh, license to carry license because they changed it in Texas. It's no longer longer a concealed handgun license. It's a license to carry. Uh, you have to take a six hour class. Part of that is classroom. Part of that is actual shooting. So I'm doing the classroom part now and I'm saying I'm probably doing, gonna do the shooting 
if not in the next 48 hours, in the next, uh, before, before this week is out, probably Saturday, I'll go to the range and do the shooting. Um, it was a 4th of July special, so I wanted to take advantage of it. Not that I planned on needing any guns, I actually was going to get, um, what's those? Aerosol rubber guns. I was going to get that to show my son and practice, uh, target practice and things like that. But um, I figured there's no better time to have it or get it than now. Um, whether I plan on using it or not. Um, I don't plan on buying any weapons. I can't, I can't, I don't even know what weapons um, or what gun to go purchase. I guess I'll know once I go to the shooting range. Um, so over this time, my tooth has not been causing me too many problems. Um, sometimes it gets annoying, but no, not like the pain that I used to get. Um, so I'm happy about that. But yeah, I'm headed to the class. I don't know how much I can show you. Um, I'm excited to learn whatever they're gonna teach me and get on to it. I found myself lately watching a lot of military movies. So I don't know if that means something or what. But let me go ahead and get here and I'll check back in. All right, so I, a few hours ago I got home from getting my root canal. I'm not gonna show it to you uh, because I know some people don't wanna see other people's mouths, but uh, it didn't hurt. It was actually pretty simple. The only thing I didn't like is it's a long procedure. So I had to keep my mouth open for a long time. My jaw was hurting, um, but as far as pain level, you know, you when they numb you, you'll feel a little small, small, small prick. You barely felt it. But um throughout the whole process, whatever they're doing to during the root canal, you don't feel any of it. Um right now I'm feeling some pain. And Keisha thinks it's because the uh, nerve was messed with, so they obviously stick something down in there to clean it out. Um, so I think this is my body realizing something was done in that spot after they numb me up. Um, and it's adjusting to that. Also, I have a temporary crown, uh, on top of the tooth. So basically what they did was once they cleaned out the tooth, I think they shaved it down to a smaller tooth and then they put my normal size um, temporary tooth on top and so it looks natural it just hurts right now uh, they didn't prescribe me anything because I guess they assumed I didn't, wasn't going to have any pain um, I did have some pain medicine left over so I just took some of that but um I can feel the difference. The tooth feels different than a normal tooth. Um, but as far as it looks, it looks the same. So I have to go back in two to three weeks. They said uh, the permanent tooth will come in at that time. And I guess they'll put that on. And then they said, you know, you can eat what you want. Right now they said uh, nothing gummy. Nothing, uh, no caramel, nothing crunchy. I can't, I don't want to chew on that side. So they said kind of re refrain from that. Anyways, uh, the kids are actually outside because there's a possible comet sighting. So Keisha took them outside to see that. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to see it or not. Yeah, so um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog. I know you guys have been... I know you guys have been waiting. Um, I've kind of put a larger gap in between them. We have more updates coming, more new things coming. We'll keep you guys updated. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not.
subscribe and become a band member if you currently aren't. And I will talk to you band members later. You heard me?